Tonight, I'm coming from the bridge to bring you part two of the Pompilios Trilogy with Jim Roush. In the last episode, we did a quick introduction to Jim, shared a couple fun facts about Pompilios, and then I showed you how to make a rigatoni bolognese with Pompilios bolognese sauce. And afterwards, Jim got arrested. Since I have a need to help people, I'm going to show you how to recreate Pompilio's chicken cacciatore, which consists of garlic sautéed mushrooms, green peppers, and onions over a bed of linguine robusta, which will make you the most popular guy at the swingers club, also known as my kitchen. I went to a swingers club last night and walked out. No, Jim. I had you arrested for pissing on my petunias. Okay. And now that we're at the swingers club, we're going to begin with two relaxing chicken breasts. Begin by cutting the chicken into medium-sized strips. Shit. Grab a bowl and add one cup of generic white flour. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a common thing now. Add salt, pepper, and some of the Pompilio So Italian Spice Blend. So Italian! So Italian! Any So Italian seasoning will work. Yes. Mix the generic white flour in a cavalier fashion and use it to dredge the chicken. Use it? I don't know what that means. Set the chicken aside because it's time to prepare the vegetables. Next. Fulfill a need for vegetables by chopping one medium generic white onion. What? No way. Along with two green bell peppers. I'm sorry, where what? And combine them with one pound of mushrooms. Do you do this every night? Bring half a gallon of salted water to a roaring boil. Add the linguine to the boiling water and let it cook for 10 minutes. Yeah, you want a hard one? It's called al dente, you groomer! Ooh, I am. I mean, that's where I am. Anyway, while the pasta is boiling, this is where adding the 40 grams of butter to a skillet set to medium heat comes into play. After the butter is melted, fulfill a need for the breaded chicken from earlier. I'm gonna piss on your pumpkin. Flip the chicken three minutes after adding it to the skillet. Even though I had my heat on medium-high, I still feel sabotaged that my chicken is slightly burnt. Damn it, Now that the chicken has cooked for six minutes, add the vegetables we prepared earlier along with some garlic paste and some Worcestershire sauce. It's the right thing to do, and it should be applauded. You're playing a role. I'm going to turn left, then I'm going to turn left, then I'm going to turn right, then I'm going to turn left. Does that make sense? There he is beating that dead horse! Get him! You'll notice that I have Marinara Classico instead of Marinara Robusta. I had to make a critical judgment instead of an emotional judgment. After doing my research, I realized there was one noticeable difference between the two sauces. The Robusto has anchovies. So does Worcestershire sauce. No, no. But, but, but the thing is... It's been about 10 minutes. The pasta and the sautéed veggies are done. And the bears are looking for my... are looking for my dick. Now it's time to add the sauce and drain the pasta. Feel free to reserve one cup of the pasta water and add it to your dish if you like. No, no, God no. All that's left to do is grab a champagne colored plate, add a bed of linguine, fill up my tires with air, add the chicken cacciatore, and grab a vodka tonic. I can't help but think I'm forgetting something. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Oh, that's right. Have the bears send Jim Roush to an island. Incarceration Island, as I would say. 
This is what a chicken cacciatore looks like. Possibly breakfast too. Here's a close up so you can get a better look at it. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the final video in the Pompilios trilogy where we use the Putinesca. Will Jim be trapped on Incarceration Island? What happens when I get there? You gonna fuck me? Tune in to find out. Bye, sweethearts!